Amen. The Bible reads, while he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, worship him, saying, My daughter is even now dead. But come and lay thy hands upon her, and she shall live. The 23rd verse says, And when Jesus came into the ruler's house, and he saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he says unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepest. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. Amen. Right before you sit down, look at your neighbor right in the eyes and say, neighbor, shut the door. Uh, if you got somebody on the side, say, neighbor, shut the door. You may be seated in the house. Amen. He said, what in the world is this little short man talking about? Shut the door. But how many realize that a lot of times our blessings, hallelujah, you hear we leave too many doors open? And how many realize that no sister running your air conditioned union when you go open your door? Oh my God, here that's we get to look at our text, amen. I, I looked at it in many different versions of the 25th verse. I, I look in the NASB version. It said, But when the crowd had been sent out, he entered and took her by the hand, and the girl got up. Then the Amplified said, But when the crowd had been ordered to go outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. When the crowd was finally outside, the New Living Translation said, Jesus went in and took the girl by the hand, and she stood up. Do you realize one thing happens in all these versions is that nothing could happen until you get the haters and the doubters out. Oh my God, and I realize that you need to take your circle who you're running with. And many times we're not getting our breakthrough because of who we're running with. The Bible tells us to walk circumspectly. That means it watches well as pray. Sometimes we're praying when we need to be watching. And sometimes we're watching when we need to be praying. But how many realize you need to check your role and check your people that you're hanging with? When you got naysayers in your business, you need to get them out of your business. How many realize no real miracle can happen until you get out the dollars? Doubt him his faith and disbelief will cause you to lose out. Look at what the text says, amen. We know this man named is Jarius. Jarius' daughter was 12 years old and she was at the point of death. And when Jarius left home, his daughter was still living. Somebody had told him what Jesus was capable of. And how many realized when he found Jesus, he said, Master, even now, my daughter is dead. Oh, I mean, no death is reality. That's no coming back from death. But one thing I want to share with you this afternoon that a man can have it, God can heal it. That's nothing too hard for God. And he, not only did he, but he stressed it out. Even now, my daughter is dead. But come. Oh my God, here, come and get it up. But I realize we know the story is that the story wasn't even about the woman with the issue of blood. How many got a witness in here? How many realize that sometimes other people blessing, you just stumble into their blessing? Oh my God, here, I ain't have nobody do that time. But how many of them are they on their way back to Jerry's house? How many realize here come this woman who had an incurable disease? Uh, how many realize she had an incurable disease for 12 long years? She had spent all her money and all her living. And how many realize that she was isolated? She couldn't go home no more. She had to wear a sign to say, anybody come contact with her, say I'm unclean. Uh, don't look at me like you've been saying you've been saying that all your life. Some of y'all had some signs up and said unclean. Man, I'm just dirty. I've been a bad girl, I've been a bad boy, I've done some bad things, but God loved me anyway. I mean, she said within her mind, she said, if I may but touch the heel of his garment, that I shall be made whole. Anybody ever touched him in here? If I allow some of y'all to testify, some of y'all people would know where you come from. But let me know what God saved you just like you were. Uh, then we hear that we get to our particular text is that how many realize that doubt he was feeling? And I realize that when you got faith, that's nothing can stop you from moving in God. Uh, I mean, he can counsel the naysayers. He can counsel everything that comes up against you. How many realize that everybody got their colors backwards ain't for you? Everybody got hats on saying they missed missionary. I mean, they're not missionaries. Missionaries. How many you hear they not about you? How many realize that you got the watchful hugging you and kissing your you? Because everybody hugged you and kissed you and your friend. But I rely on Jesus. Uh, I brought him here today. Nobody got to say nothing up in here today. How many realize that sometimes we need to shut the door? As I preach over here. How many realize what happens here? I'm almost there. But 
we get to Jairus' house, how many realize the woman that had the issue was healed? Yeah. Jesus called her out because he wanted her to testify. Yeah. How many realize that you're sitting on something that may be a benefit to somebody else? Yeah. Uh, you'll catch it on your way home. Yeah. Sometimes you need to tell your story. I know they're tired of hearing you. Yeah. Oh, this is always testify the same thing. God deliver her. God deliver her. No good husband. Now he's puzzled to me. God deliver my child out of the penal system. But how many realize you need to keep on telling the story? Because how many if God done it for you, he'll do it for somebody else. Yeah, got a witness in here. And he said, somebody touch me. He said, don't you see the crowd? He said, no, a lot of people calling on him, but they're crying from their lips. But somebody cried from their soul and got healed. How many realize in the, in the prayer line, we don't know who the one really got the prayer through? How many know you ain't got to be up here with the oil in your hand to really get the prayer through? You can be right there on that seat calling on God. And because we're just a point of contact. I'm talking about deliverance in here before I leave here, Sister Father. As we begin to move on in here, as I get to deal here, we get to Jarius' house. Jared's house, how many know they had professional mourners? Yeah. They paid folks to come by. How many know some people yeah. go to every field, don't even know them? Yeah. Want two programs. They don't want one, they want two programs. And if you don't watch them, they'll take a picture of your loved one. I don't know what they do with all them dead old pictures up in their house don't have no And then they show them go to the repast. Eat all your food up in there. And how many know the church people got to hold them before the family can get back? They sitting up there eating all your food up. Talking about I'm diabetic, baby. My sugars are acting up. But you need to put the greens down. You need to put all that fat out of it. Make that hot talking to you, diabetic. No, you hungry. Come on, you ready to get up? As I begin to deal here, the minister's making noise. Tell all your neighbors a lot of noise in church. But it's not being effective because it's not led by the Spirit. And they were making a whole lot of noise. They was paid to mourn. And it was mourning. And how many know the child was laying back there, his baby, 12 years old, had died. They laid her back on the bed. And how many know when Jesus gets there? And how many know before he gets there, somebody from the house run and tell Jairus, Jairus, don't bother the master anymore. Your daughter is dead. But how many know what Jesus tells you in the particular text? And I want to shine greater faith this morning. I don't care what the naysayers say. Jesus said, what did I tell you? I told you to only believe. And all things are possible to them that believe. Can I got some witnesses in here? Yeah. How many ever God made a way out of no way? God had made some stuff happen out of an impossible situation. Somebody was sick and cancer up in here, but God delivers you. Somebody was broke and never got a light built, never able to pay your light bill, and life never cut off. How many of God has made way for you? As I begin to look at it, and I get to my text, it's going to make sense in a minute, brothers. When he gets to the house of Jerry's house, yeah. the first thing that happens is we got to get the folks out of the house. Yeah. And how I many know he only took the members of the inner circle with him? Because you can't take every church member with you. I don't care if they might be the proud leader, but they ain't ready yet. And you got to watch who you share church business with. I even say new converts don't even need to go to business meeting. Because they see y'all fussing and cussing up here and shout after you. I'm a dog right in here. Raising all kind of cane because of the love of the love. He heard my cry. And the young couple are run away from here. But how many know sometimes we shout too much? Their ears are too tender. How about when we get to Jarius' house? And in Jarius' house, I begin to talk to you. Can I get away with this? And as we get to Jarius' house, he first thing Jesus has to evaluate the situation. Uh, you got to know if the atmosphere is conducive for God to move. Because God is not coming in on no mess and no trouble. My God here, God is not coming in on no chaos. Because you know who the author of chaos is? That's the devil. And how many of a whole lot of devil operating in church? You got no help over here. Ooh, you got to watch folks always got the problem. I ain't got no help. Always in the pastor's face. Always want the church to pay the light bill. They ain't paying tithes in 20 years. You bring pies and nobody else wants it, you don't even want it. Then the preacher that call your name, you get mad at everybody. 
at church one time. And how many realize the hospitality people did it in love? They did it in love. They said, baby, bring silverware. Bring the cups and bring the plates. But don't you cook nothing. <laughs> See, if you can't cook at home, please don't bring it to somebody else. If I still will leave great right hope and say, no folks can't cook. No, you can't cook. Don't you cook. Yeah. 
feet. How many know when Jesus gets down, he says, kill the noise and shut the door. And how many know sometimes the reason we haven't got our blessing yet? Because we're leaving the back door open. But you got to reach back in your past. And you got to let Johnny go. You got to let Sally go. Why are you going to keep on beating up the newborn friend? What the last Negro done to you? Tell you they will shut the door. Lock it up. Because I, that's my past. And I'm not in the past no more. I shall out to tell you today. You can live if you keep moving forward. You got to keep on pressing forward. Today is your day of victory. Today is your day of deliverance. The short man telling you this evening. You got to learn how to shut the door. Tell you they will put them all out. Get your prayer warriors with you. They call on God. He will. He will deliver. He will. He will set you free. Can't nobody do it like Jesus. Oh! 